Hi guys and welcome to VIP Bytes. These will be quick tech tips for both blind, visually impaired, and the sighted world. Have you ever been on Facebook and come across a post and wanted to save it for later so that you could go back and either read it or share it um, at a later time? Well, there is a way to save a post or a link or an image so that you can go back and look at it later instead of trying to scroll through your, your feed. So say you're on a group that has some information that you want to save for later, be it a link, be it a video, be it an image, whatever. So here I am on the St. John Photography website, or Facebook group, sorry. And so what we can do is let's scroll down and see what we can find here. Well, that's pretty. Another one. And there is a cool picture. So let's save this picture for later so that if I want to look at it later or share it with someone. So the way we do that is if you look up here in the right hand corner of the post, as you can see where my mouse is, there is a down arrow or an arrow pointing downwards. If you click on that arrow, it's going to pop down a menu and there's going to be some options. One of them saved post. So let's do that. Let's click on save post. Great. So now we've saved this post for future so that we can go back and look at it anytime we want. But how do we find these posts that we save? Well, in order to find the post that you save, if you scroll all the way back up, and if you look over here on the left hand side, there is an option that says saved. So let's click on saved. Ta da! So there it is. So in here, this is the post that we saved. And as you can see, it does have a share button. So if you wanted to share it after you read it, you can share it on your timeline as normal. So this is just like bookmarking a website in your web browser so that you can go back and look at it later. Over in the right hand corner, just like when you clicked on the down arrow to save it, there's going to be a gray X that you can click on. So if you just click on that gray X, boom, it grays out the whole thing and it is now removed from your saved items. Hope you found this tech tip useful. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, thumbs up. Have yourself a great day. Bye.